हरे कृष्णा मटीरियलिजम रिड्यूसेज यू टू अ नंबर एंड ग्लैमराइज थिंग्स दैट मेक यू नंबर नंबर इज बेसिकली मैथमेटिक्स मेजरेबल थिंग्स एंड मटीरियलिजम ऑफन रिड्यूसेज आज टू नंबर्स बिकॉज मटीरियलिज्म होल्ड दैट मैटर इज ऑल दैट एग्जिस्ट एंड विद इन मटीरियलिज्म there is the idea that there are various other schools of thought but a prominent school of thought is that with scientism coming into the world that is that everything can be explained through science and everything can science essentially deals with uh, mathematics science is reduced to mathematics where everything can be reduced to numbers so just as we might have a social security number in a country or a roll number in a class now that is used as a referent but that number is not who we are but materialism holds that it's not just that num- a number is a referent for us a number is the per- is what we are because what makes us distinctive from others that materialism ultimately reduces each one of us down to uh, mechanical formulae mechanical interactions of fundamental particles according to impersonal laws that can all be ultimately at least this so is believed can be explained in terms of a single equation so of course human behavior is extremely unpredict- unpredictable and we can't we can't be essentialized down to simply a number however this is what materialism does and that's why it's a soul destroying philosophy in the bhagavad gita krishna talks about broadly uh, anti spiritual anti spiritual way of looking at the world and there in it states that those who accept this way they reject the supreme spiritual reality and they re- they reject the soul the individual spiritual reality and krishna in 169 says etam drishtim avashtabhya nashtatmano alpa buddhayah prabhavanti ugra karmaan kshayay jagato hitah nashtatmano so the soul refers to our the, the conscious being that we are but that is reduced to certain biochemical uh, phenomena the electrochemical signals in the brain cells and thus it reduces us to a number and then what do we do in life materialism also presents us with endless allurements and those allurements they further despiritualize our consciousness first of all in our conception itself materialism is self conception we are despiritualized and then we become further numbed as we keep craving and slaving for one thing after another and indulging in it and then our consciousness becomes more and more numb it becomes number and thus we end up living at a degree at a at a degraded diminished consciousness barely existing like robots uh, like program machines chasing one of sensation after another without any meaning or purpose in our lives and that is a gloomy existence indeed the way out of such a gloomy existence is by gaining the spiritual knowledge of the bhagavad gita which reveals that our identity and destiny are far beyond our material body and the material world we live in and the gita not only helps us doesn't reduce us to a number or glamorizes things that make us number it actually helps us transcend material existence and by the t- if we pr- live the gita then by the time our days will be numbered we will have Uh, disconnected ourselves from material attachments and we will attain the eternal destination thank you hare krishna